I'm Elena Uriosti, violinist and director of Chamber Music by the Sea, and it's showtime! The first time classical violinist Elena Uriosti performed on the Mid-South Audio Stage, well, it was back in the summer of 2017, and we've enjoyed welcoming her back every summer since then. We were even able to connect via Zoom during the pandemic and looky, looky here. <laughs> Six years later, extremely honored to welcome back Elena Uriosti. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. For Wonderful yeah, to see yeah. you. So when we see you, we know that the Chamber Music by the Sea Festival is close. Indeed, it starts Sunday. I can't believe it. It's, it's wow. right, right on the horizon. Wow, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to talk about what it is for those who aren't familiar. But, you know, when, when reading about you, you've performed literally around the world with almost every symphony. Uh, why Berlin, Maryland for your Chamber Music by the Sea Fest? Well, the short answer is now my parents live here. They've retired to Berlin and they just love it. And uh, we, all, we, lo we all love the town and the whole area in general. Um, but I first came to the Eastern Shore 20 years ago um, with family friends and just fell in love with the area. They introduced my parents to the area, so it was a little domino effect of all of us falling in love with the area. Um, and somewhere in the back of my mind, I'd always thought one day I'd love to start my own festival, somewhere I could bring my friends, it could feel like a, a beach vacation, um, and I had grand plans of you know some remote island. Um, that didn't happen, but as I was starting to you know, go out on my own and start to do my own projects, um, I just sort of thought, well, this is perfect. It has a beach, it has gorgeous towns, um, it has ponies, um, not, <laughs> not something many areas can boast. Um, and it has a real appreciation for the arts already, sort of built in. You know, Berlin and Snow Hill are such arty towns. And I just thought, I have a feeling these people will, would be receptive to classical music, chamber music, which is, which is just classical music on a small scale. Um, and luckily, I was right. People have been so, so, so receptive to bringing music here every summer. Hand yeah. in glove. Hand in glove. <laughs> so, so is that the definition of chamber music? Yes, quite literally music to be played in one's chambers. So why do you like it so much? It's so intimate, you really get to know, uh, if you don't know already, the people that you're playing with. You can communicate things in a, in a much subtler way than if you're on stage with you know, 100 oh. other musicians yeah. playing in, in a massive uh, hall or arena. Um, and it's just, it feels cozy, like a hug. And um, the, the process is really democratic, so you all get to create something from the ground up together. Sounds wonderful. Okay, so let's talk about the uh, Chamber Music by the Sea Festival. What can folks expect to experience? So we have made an effort over the years since 2016 was the first festival we ever did to grow things little by little in a really organic way. Um, adding new venues each year, experimenting with different sorts of venues. And um, this year we're so excited to, as well as be returning to old favorites um, like Temple Bat Yam and uh, the All Hallows Episcopal Church in Snow Hill. We're adding some new venues. Um, we'll be at the Bishop Stock Art Gallery in Snow Hill. Oh, nice. Um, we'll be at the Atlantic Hotel, which has been a dream of mine for a really long time. Each year we've done a little pop-up set in the hotel bar, uh, which has been really, really fun, but we're gonna be in, in the main formal room, excuse me, the main formal room this year, um, which I'm just, I'm, I'm over the moon about. Um, we'll be doing some outdoor events and open air rehearsal on the tip of South Point oh and um, outside at the Taylor House Museum as well. Oh, oh wow. wow. Yeah, so one of the things we love so much about this festival is uh, how inclusive it is. We want people of all ages to come and appreciate the music, whether they have experience coming to classical music concerts or not. Um, so kids, people who have never been to a concert before, um, we just want everyone to enjoy it and, um, yeah, enjoy it in whatever way they feel is appropriate. Yeah. So, can I ask you, do you have a name for your violin? You call it like Bob? I, or, do you really? I do have a name for my violin. So actually, full disclosure, this is not the usual violin I play. This is a, a loner. So um, we're just getting to know each other, so I don't feel comfortable <laughs> naming it just yet. But my, my usual va violin I call Alex. Alex. Mm -hmm. Well, can, can you and your Alex stand in, hang out with us and perform here in a minute? Absolutely. It would be our <laughs> pleasure. Wonderful. <laughs> Yeah, we definitely uh, can't let Elena go without mm -mm. hearing her play. Mm -mm. That's coming up next. Elena's performance on the Mid-South Audio stage is next, and we also have today's Delmarva Life occasion. Stick around, Delmarva Life. We'll be right back.